working hard, had to fly Two jobs to survive, she's my super What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Nicole. My channel is all about home decor and lifestyle in, in a short. So I'm taking you guys through my journey of making my first house feel like home one DIY project at a time, taking you guys through little around the house things that you can do as a woman, handy stuff that you may think is hard but not as hard and you may not need some assistance with. Like I've done changing the toilet seat, changing the toilet seat handle, um, different little things like that. But the main focus is really revamping my first house to really make it feel like my personality or my um, something that inspires me. Okay, so I'm in my kitchen right now. My most popular YouTube video, and my hair is really crazy today, but that's okay. So I'm in my kitchen. My most popular YouTube video has been the kitchen cabinet paint using the Nouveau kitchen cabinet paint kit. Um, thank you guys for all of the loves that you guys have shown that video. It seems to have been really useful. But this is an update primarily on these cabinets. I'm just not feeling it anymore, you guys. Like, it's been maybe like 15 months since I've actually done the project. And they're chipping, okay? They're chipping. I'm over it. Um, at first I was like, oh, it gives it a little bit of character. But no, it's given now. I can't resell this house like this. I wouldn't even want a renter in this house like this. So I'm just thinking long term. So I'm starting to evaluate, you know, some of the DIY projects that I've done, thinking about redoing them in a more permanent long term way. Definitely want to redo the cabinets, um, either it's painting them over or just getting new cabinets. Um, someone commented a while ago, it was kind of a negative comment, but it didn't really phase me. The handles. Some of them are a little bit crooked. Someone helped me drill them. And that was before I knew that you're supposed to use like the little light thing to make it even. That's neither here nor there. So either I'm going to redo the kitchen cabinets, painting, filling the holes and re-drilling them for new pools. Or just completely getting new, um, new cabinets. Um, so today's video I'm going to show you up close and personal. Real quick, if you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe. I'm loving getting to know you guys and how your home projects are going. Um, drop a comment if there's anything you want to see from me. Um, I know a lot of people want to see more stuff with my daughter. Um, she's always around and helping me, but I, I don't always put her in the videos. Um, but if you want to see more of that, let me know. Um, we're going to get into the up close and personal clip of this, um, this kitchen. But transparency moment, guys. I am really overwhelmed with life, trying to be a mom, trying to work a nine to five, trying to run Glamorina, the active wear brand if you're not familiar. It's a lot. Like I'm tired of cleaning, I'm tired of cooking, I'm tired of washing clothes. Like I'm just overwhelmed. So I know a lot of my women out there can relate whether you're a mom, whether you're just wearing multiple hats. As women we tend to do that and we, um, we put a lot on ourselves. So I'm at that point. I'm definitely going to stay consistent with my YouTube channel, though. Um, but just really trying to think through how I can organize my life a little better. Like, I feel like everything is all over the place right now. I need to clean every room. I'm, tr I'm, I'm not sure how I got to this point, but I don't like to have a lot to do. So comment below if you have any tips or suggestions. I try to give my own, but I, love, I would love to hear you guys' you know, tips or advice on how to manage your home. Like... It's easier said than done. Sometimes I see people's YouTube channels and I'm like, they seem to have it all together. But I know, you guys know in real life, it's not always like that 24-7. So right now, I'm behind, hoping to take this weekend to get back on track, try to, you know, clean the place up. But as I'm thinking about that, the shipping on this kitchen cabinet paint is taking me there, taking me there, you know, on another level. It's like, oh my god, like I'm so over it. So I'm going to, again, let me stop talking. I'm going to show you the, the clip, the footage, and kind of let you guys know what I plan to do moving forward. But definitely looking for some long-term solutions because I'm thinking ahead. This property is not my forever home, but it is 
you know, it's my first home, so I definitely want to play around with as many DIY projects as I can. However, I want this to be resellable, and then I also want, um, you know, it to be rentable. So I, I don't want a seller looking at this kitchen right now because I feel like it looks nice. So someone who's desperate or doesn't care, maybe they'll, you know what I mean, want to buy it. But I want something where I can get a bang out of it. You know, I want to get the most profit out of it when I'm ready to sell this property. And if I do want to rent it out, I don't want a renter in this kitchen because, yeah, I just don't. It's not as presentable as I want it to be. So, I'm sorry, guys. I said I'm going to stop talking, but real quick, before I get into the clip, I was working on the master bathroom, right? And I kind of put that project on hold because I feel like the kitchen is um, where the most of your value is in your home. That master bathroom will be later. I will definitely do it. But the kitchen is just not, like, it looks good, but, it de like, if you look detailed, it's just, it's bothering me. So, without, fur oh, without further ado, yeah, let's just get into the video, and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so this is the up-close-and-personal video of these cabinets today. Um, I did an update video a while ago, but I wanted to show you guys today why I'm so over the cabinets. Thank you to everyone who has showed support to that Nouveau Kitchen Cabinet Paint video. I'm sure most of you guys have seen it. Um, but I definitely wish I had not painted the hardware. That was the first mistake. You know, at first I was like, oh, it's okay. It gives the house character. If the kitchen is lived in. It's used. But no, it's, it's giving tacky. It's giving you need to change this. Um, so all of the hardware right there, the paint is chipping. I don't know what possessed me to do that. Along with just like paint on the door... I thought I sanded it the best that I could. I used the the um the little paper sander and the little deglosser. Um, so I'm just over it, you guys. It, it's starting to look tacky. I cannot. What I'm thinking right now is the the resale or the value of the house, and I can't sell the house looking this way. You'll see the adhesive right here from um on the countertop from my removing the contact paper. I'll link that video in case you haven't seen it. Um, but super easy. I just need to go back and scrub that part to get that adhesive off. Um, these are the lower cabinets. So you can just see. It means chip, chip, chip. It's like chip city at this point, And I'm over it. I'm looking on ways to, you know, do I want to replace these cabinets or do I want to try this project again? Let me know what you guys think I should do in the comments below. <sighs> you guys, I just, I'm just like. You know, and I still have to paint the ceiling right here at the top where I changed my light fixture. Make sure you guys check out that video as well. If you haven't, I'll link it. Super easy to change your light fixture if you're looking for a small change, but an effective change. Um, so yeah, sorry for the shakiness. I need to figure out, you know, moving forward if I want to record on my camera, how I'm going to do that in the most stable way. So bear with me. And this is the bar um, where I sit every morning to like plan my day and strategize. So. I hope you guys like this content. I hope you guys can help me in the comments to figure out what I should do next for this kitchen. It's giving disaster at this point, you guys. I'm really over it. All right, y'all. So that's it for this week's video. Um, I just, again, I wanted to post this week to let you guys know where I am with you know, getting this house to where I want it to be. I mean, it's my first house. If you are in your first home, if you've been in your home for years and just haven't really thought about like what's next with your property, or even if you're hunting for a house, hopefully my channel helps you to just think about things that you may not have thought about, or just think about when you get in your house, how you want to look at things. Um, you know, if you've been in your house for a long time, you know, just trying to evaluate your situation, why you bought the house. Home ownership is so important to me. Um, so if you guys want to see any tips on how I was able to buy a home, I know it's hard for a lot of people, let me know in the comments below. I will definitely give you guys my tips, advice, the process, all of that good stuff. Um, but I just, sometimes you get comfortable. Like your first year in the house, I feel like I was so excited doing all these DIY projects. And then as time goes on, when like life is happening, um, sometimes it can get away from you. And I think that's with anything. But my goal is to really make sure, you know, we're keeping this house clean. Like, obviously, all my little hard work, <laughs> my DIY projects, I want it to be well taken care of. And I'm not in the house by myself, so sometimes I have to teach my daughter, like, okay, 
this is how you do this. Make sure you clean up after yourself. Make sure, like we want to take care of our property, right? And this is whether you're renting or not. Obviously, if you're renting, you need to take care of the property because it's not yours. But if it's your home, you want to take care of it also because that's less maintenance you have to do on your own, less repair work when you're trying to when you're ready to sell. You don't want to sell your house and it's not worth that much. And then you know what I mean. You want to get something out of it. So I've been overwhelmed. I'm trying to get my life together. I mean, I keep a planner. You guys may have seen in the clip. I keep a planner, but it's just so much to do. And sometimes it's just overwhelming. I hope you guys can relate to that. Let me know in the comments below if you can. I'm sure you guys can. Um, but yeah, I'm going to the drawing board this week. I'm gonna be I'm gonna, you know, write down what I want to do to this kitchen next. What kind of flooring I want to put in here. If I want to do it myself. Some of these projects, it's like, you know, I'm going to try with, for different looks by myself on my DIY project, but then for a long-term, you know, solutions. What do I want this kitchen to look like? Do I like this color scheme? I can tell you right now, these pill and stick floors, the white, I like it. It's easy to clean, but I'm thinking if I do want to keep white long-term, looking into um, higher quality material where it's really not going to be touched. You know, like you may have to sweep and mop, but I mean, this is good. Honestly, I can't lie. The This peel and stick floor holds up pretty well. I just think I didn't do the best job that I could. Like, it's good. Some some places are like perfect, but some places there are like gaps in between the tiles and I don't know. I don't know. But at any rate, the kitchen is still cute. Let me know what you think about the kitchen. Um, my little bar, check out that video if you haven't checked out my DIY bar. It's so cute and I like to work at it, but I'm just thinking long term. Again, like, this is my house. I own it. Um, let me know if you guys want to know about um, doing yard work. I feel like a lot of women don't do yard work in my neighborhood. There's a lot of old men who, there's a lot of older people in my, in my neighborhood. and They all keep, take very good care of their yards. And I feel like my yard needs to step its game up. So I just actually did um, some pulling of weeds in my front yard and like mulching and all that stuff. So if you guys are interested in seeing that process, let me know in the comments below. I'm also working on, I planted some strawberries in my backyard. Just trying to utilize my whole space. Like I own this property. So let me not neglect my outside or my inside. Just making sure that I'm taking care of this property. All right, y'all. I'm done wrapping for today. Love you guys. See you guys in my week. See? I can't even talk. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm done talking. I will see you guys next week in my next video.